What's up everybody? My name's Chase Reeves and this is the Bellroy Apex. Whoa, it's a 400 plus dollar backpack, a daily carry bag made from like Elon Musk's wet dreams about materials for this planet, not, not for Mars, for this planet. It's like a concept car. Do you know what I mean? Like when BMW or Mercedes puts out some concept car that's like, this is the car for the future. But at 400 plus dollars, like the question is, is it useful? And I submit that it is. It's got a top loading design, all right? Just like. Sensational, I actually love it. You've got a piece of leather right here and then underneath that is actually some webbing. But then you've got zippers on either side here that allow you to get full visibility, full access and some organization over here. Fur and dope materials, okay? This is a Bida nylon. They have developed this. They have some in-house material <laughs> wizards now. And this is from 100% recycled industrial material that's been cleaned and processed. It has dual coatings of things, I don't know, that fill in the gaps so that dirt and water slough right up. Extremely water resistant material, extremely abrasion resistant. The way that this material feels is a big part of this bag. All of the designy stuff, all of the like little accoutrement, as it were, plays a big role. The design plays a big role, but this material itself is kind of like nothing I've seen before. It reminds me of the Evergoods material on the exterior on a lot of the Evergoods bags, but it doesn't pick up lint and dirt that's quite the same way. It, it, it's a badass material. Other materials, you're going to see leather bits like on the straps. The leather that they're using here is certified, is certifiably, it comes from a life, right? A life for a life. So it, it's an animal product. I know a lot of you vegans are gonna feel like, man, I can't get into that. Totally respect it. What I love about leather on things like this is the way that it breaks in, the patina over time. And Bellroy are working with really high quality leather tanneries and uh, they have some values when it comes to the materials that they're choosing. Another material you're gonna see in here is this stretch mesh inside here, okay? You're gonna see that in the side pockets right here. I like this stretch mesh. I like the way that it feels. It has a kind of that like, uh, it's like uh, it's like on its way to silicone or rubber instead of something harsh or, or you know, dry. It has a good feeling. Bellroy always uses good meshes in their bags. This is no exception. I did get a little dirt on mine already. So this is where, one of the places where you, you might end up seeing some wear and tear. You really won't see that wear and tear out here on the bag very much. There is lots of space in the bag, all right? Big enough to fit a lot of things, and yet not so big that you can't feel comfortable wearing it as a daily carry bag, right? So that is something that is really useful on a bag like this, because in all honesty, it's like a sack. There's nothing fancy. Uh, it doesn't like run around saying like, I'm the greatest bag in the world. It's when you get to using it. It's when you start feeling it, which is like, why is this leather so rich and supple? Like why is, what is this material? I've never felt a bag that has this kind of, uh, this kind of like, I wanted, I wanted to say almost rigidity, but you can see the way that it drapes. It's not rigid. It has this awesome sturdiness in the exterior of this fabric, the way that it, it can behave almost like a, like, I don't know. It, 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 it has all of that abrasion resistance, the resilience that you want from it. And yet you have this nice, it's one of my, it's one of my favorite or exterior materials. As I showed you inside, there's a lot of internal organization here and they call it like a toolbox. It's set up around, you've got your laptop and a tablet slash business papers, man. Again, nice little details in here with the little Bellroy owl because you know, whenever I think of owls, I think of like hipster design girls in Portland, just like with owl tattoos. The owl's sick, the owl knows shit, right? But then you have this beaver paddle over here, which has more organization. This is kind of like the quick access in some ways. And uh, inside of there, there's another little organizer. One of the things I've noticed about this beaver paddle is when it comes down, all the stuff that's in there can fall out. That's why this zippered compartment is kind of nice. And honestly, I do find that the zip 
like for me, depending on how it's packed, this zip right here can sometimes get bunched up. Now, one of the things that's awesome is I didn't actually know this for the first like week that I was using this. There's another zip down here at the bottom. So if you have the bag on, you swing it around and now you can zip from the bottom and get that little guy. Thanks, Bellroy. The laptop compartment is awesome. Easily fits my 15 inch lap MacBook Pro. It is suspended up off the bottom of the bag. Surprisingly, there's not padding on the bottom of the laptop, but it's pulled up off the, there's there's a stretch mesh is on the, is like what the bottom of your laptop will be on, but it's pulled up off the bottom of the bag pretty well. And even though there's not like a super rigid thing back here, you see that it's contoured like that. They, they had to use this special mesh to be able to contour it around the way that they they wanted it to. This is this is like possibly one of those things that you start to see some wear and tear on. Another cool thing is they, down at the bottom of the bag, these panels sort of like have these corners. We've rounded some edges. One of the reasons why they did that is because the shift bag, which has the same latch, They've been using, they've been selling that for a long time. They've, they look at a lot of the, anytime they have to repair something, anytime they get some customer feedback, they're making notes and they're keeping track of it. So that's part of why they rounded these edges off and brought this around in a way because some people drag their bag on the ground, right? So that's a possible place of wear and tear for you that on this material, it's just really burly. It just performs really well. So they've thought about a lot of the things that are gonna keep this bag feeling fresh for a long time. One criticism here is that possibly too few external access spots, okay? So there's two side pockets right here, which you open up and then camera batteries fall out. In one of them, you have like a little keychain thing. In the other one, you do not. And these side access guys, possibly you might want more. There's no external water bottle pocket. You do have those zips to get into the bag when the bag's on you to get into the main compartment. But most of what's interesting to me and the things that I need on my bag, I'm accessing through this top latch area here because when I'm looking down at the bag, I have access to everything and magnets. Did you just notice that? Some dope little magnets up here that like keep the thing, even if you don't unzip it, you can just pull that down like that. It's just nice little interactions on this thing. And by the way, everything on this bag, super water resistant. The way that this latch works, the way that the top works, keeps your stuff totally dry. The way that this flap over the front works, these side zips on the main sort of beaver paddle are not uh, water resistant but these ones are. I've had this thing out in the weather and, and I have felt very secure with this sucker. See this little thing right here? This is like your little logo or whatever, but it's actually a pull tab for opening this up. Great, beautiful, little. This whole thing, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, this whole thing is one big handle because you've got this nice rigid bar right here that helps keep that and the leather underneath feels great. This interaction is actually awesome. Like, I love it. So to me, this is actually a very useful bag. Like a very useful bag. And I'm gonna tell you what my favorite part about it is in a second. But first, this episode is brought to you by Snacks! You know when you're hungry or you need help focusing? You know when you don't have a lot of time to eat and you might be in an emotional pain of some kind, right? And you just need to, to put some things in your mouth because we eat our feelings, am I right, guys? This is why I love snacks so much. You can eat them on the go, you, you can eat them, you can eat them not on the go, you can, you can not eat them. Let's just see what we got in here. All right. A shot from Four Sigmatic, a little energy shot with some lion's mane and caffeine. I dislike these a lot. I don't think that they taste good, but <laughs> nutrition. These guys, caveman, paleo bars, these actually are the closest things to a Snickers that I have found that aren't complete shit for you. What else is in here? By the way, if you run a snack company that has deep sustainability values, some, some deep roots in, in trying to get people fed with good nutrition in a sustainable way, you should holler at your boy. Matterful.co slash contact. You should, you should actually sponsor this episode. Okay, I'll link to any of my favorite snacks 
below. Our thanks to Snacks for supporting independent media like this and just human energy in general. Thanks, Snacks. Okay, so. 400 plus dollars for what I think is a very useful bag. Obviously, it's very designy. It's super. Uh, it's like it's it's very inspiring in some ways as a as a designer. But here's my favorite thing about this bag, and I've gotten into it quite a bit throughout. But it's thoughtful interactions with the product itself. Like, and nowhere is this more prevalent than this latch, like I was talking about. But even just this like simple handle back here, okay? It's just a simple leather handle. Nothing really fancy about it. But because of the nature of the material, it just has a good like, I don't know, it has a good hand feel. It feels, it feels authentic. It has reality to it, right? I like that. I like it, but it's so simple. Zero Zero, like, like the thing about this bag is it is, it's luxurious without being precious. There's a lot of delightful things to experience and explore in this bag. My big question for Bellroy was, what's the first thing that's gonna wear out on this bag? Like I said, I think this external material, it's not gonna be the thing that wears out. I think possibly you start to see some wear and tear down here towards the bottom of this mesh, depending on what kind of surfaces you're putting it on and how you're using it. Maybe some wear and tear here. I love these straps. They're very thin and minimal, but still like plenty of like uh, of, it's just the right kind of padding, just a delight, a total delight. But ultimately, I think it's the insides that are gonna end up feeling like you can see this little piece, uh, this little, can you see this little bit of dirt? I don't even know what this was. It's probably from one of my like Palo Santo smudges or something like that. Be nice to the inside. What's great about this is on the outside, you can just tear through whatever's coming your way. I talked to the Bellroy people, to uh, Andy and James over there. I actually have that, I'll put that interview up probably for, for Patreon and YouTube members uh, in, in, in its entirety or whatever. It's a cool conversation with the designers of this bag going like, hey, here's our dream for this bag. But one other thing that they were, by the way, did I mention this like taped seams thing yet? I don't even think I did. Look at this, you see how this is like taped seams inside? It's like a wetsuit or something. It's like they're, it's just, this is that kind of thing where it's above and beyond and it feels so good in in use. Like it's not like, it's just really streamlined. It's really quality. Same with these magnets, like I've mentioned. I mean, look at this, look at the, these, these. You can kind of just see the, the outline of the magnet there and it's a nice strong magnet the way that it like grips it and rips it right, oh, look at that. Oh man, that's nice. But when I asked them about what is your like true north on this bag, like what is your, what were the, what were the stars that sort of guided you in it? And what they wanted is they wanted a bag that you could do everything that you'd wanna do in life uh, and it works proficiently. Meaning, like you can actually take this to the outdoors and it'll perform really well. It, it's true, it's comfortable, it's got all the durability, it's got all the capacity that you need. But then, it can also fit right in in any indoor environments. Like for example, your office, if we ever go back to work again. <laughs> your office or being in a boardroom or out and about on a you know cocktail hour as well as early morning, you know, early morning getting work done at some, I don't know, why am I thinking about a cabin? I wanna be in a cabin right now. Do you know where I am? I'm at my parents' house right now. This is, I'm at my parents' house. I'm back in the house where we moved when I was in junior high. This is like where all my bad memories are. Okay, let me show you how I have this thing packed out in here, okay? I like to be able to view everything that I need just from the top. And you can see all around the outside, there's a couple different pouches or like little, you have two side things, the top stuff, and then the computer stuff in the back. Again, one of the cool things about this is you can totally lay it down and pull this open. As I mentioned, there's some little guys in here. This is where like glasses, AirPods. My AirPods actually I tend to put in here because they fall out of this anytime this flops over. So anything that's folly outy like that would go here or you could put AirPods and stuff like that in these side pockets. I put snacks on one side and a bunch 
of camera batteries on the other. Now, my 15 inch MacBook Pro fits perfectly in here. It's nice and safe, good piece of cardboard. So it's not even cardboard, it's, it's, it's like a, um, it's a, it's nice. Again, another piece of that material genius from, from them. I threw a book in here currently reading No Boundary by Ken Wilber. <laughs> what is a human being, you guys? And then I've got three pouches down here. Can you see this? In this one side, I've just got like the last little bit of airborne because vitamin C. So these three pouches, this is like we just moved, right? We just, we just moved out of San Diego. I've been like, Moving my family out of San Diego. For the last two weeks, you know what's happened? I got a vasectomy. Just squeezed that in. Just barely got that in. And while I was recovering from vasectomy, we realized that we would be moving. Getting my family all packed up when you got stitches in your fucking testicles, that's a fun little moment. But the reason why I bring that up is because this is the bag that I've used as my setup for like, okay, everything that I'm gonna need from the moment I start packing to, the, to where I am right now is gonna be using this bag. And so these are the pouches that I've used for that. This is my uh, Porter pen case from Brown Buffalo. Highly recommend having one of these, I love it. This size is pretty much perfect size to fit in these side things but not perfect in use because it's a little too tight to get it in and out. Once it's in, it's awesome. Like I said, it's like perfect size, but I haven't liked getting that in and out. What you really want for this is the Bellroy pencil case because it's smaller, it's more narrow. You'll be able to get it in and out easily, but this is still gonna hold it away from the inside of the bag, right? Then I've got my track uh, login pouch from Scotland. This is like my tech pouch. In here, I have all the things that I need, right? My my extra pair of earbuds, some a battery, some Alpha Brain, which I forgot to take before this. I like Alpha Brain. I'll link to Alpha Brain below. If you do any performance, or if you do any like yeah, if you're doing Zoom calls or some shit, get into Alpha Brain like two of those. 20 minutes before, you're gonna be clicking on all cylinders, baby. Got a lot of little cords and cables and dongles and stuff like that in here. So this is my tech kit and then my smoke kit, which I did a review on this. I'll link to that below. It's a nice lockable little smoke pouch. And now I actually put one of these from Peak Designs down in the bottom here because I just threw my camera down here. I just threw it in the bottom of it. That's where it's been. And so I just put a little more protection at the bottom of the bag for it. I don't really recommend this as a camera bag, but uh, it does it in a pinch. It's a good bag. I think it's a very useful, good bag. Now, uh, you know, if you're like half the American population or whatever, not half, but the six million people in the US who just applied for fucking unemployment, I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure the government will just solve this problem for us. Then obviously a lot of us are not looking at being able to buy a bag like this. But what's inspiring about a bag like this is that like, I'm like, if, if Rick Grimes, if people in The Walking Dead, Carl, Carl, if people in The Walking Dead had this bag, I think they would sit around and talk about design a little bit more, right? They'd probably be like, because it's an inspiring bag. It's like, holy shit, how much work did they put into this? How conceived, how thoughtfully conceived is this thing? Probably spend time designing better food infrastructure and shit like that, right? Another good thing about this bag is it's less than a car. <laughs> you like Teslas? Like that new Tesla Model Y? That's awesome. Save, uh, <laughs> save a lot of money and get a bag and power your life with snacks. Thanks also to Snacks for supporting this episode of the Chase Reeves Show. <laughs> but I think this bag's quite inspiring. If you are a baller right now, if you've got plenty of funds, donate to some organizations who are helping take care of, of the people who are in survival mode, who are in crisis mode. I'll link to what I find below. If you know of good organizations that are donating either locally, nationally, or internationally, holler in the comments because I wanna make sure people know where we can, where we can send money if we have it, right? And then if you done that this is a bag that that is highly worth it it's just that's how I feel about it it's just it's worth it's worth the money you know I don't have any problem with this with this with this price tag for this bag at all it's just one of those things that you're like fuck man they really thought through a lot they got great materials you know it's a sack this is one of my favorite things about this is there's nothing there's nothing precious about this thing. There's nothing, uh, like I said, it's luxurious, it's very quality, without being precious, right? That 
is awesome to have it just like designed as a sack that happens to be super functional, that happens to be useful in whatever situation you're gonna take it in, whether it's outdoors or indoors, whether it's professional or totally casual. Love that shit. So, thanks for designing this, Bellroy. Thanks to you, dear watcher of the Chase Reeves Show. Listen, if you wanna support this channel in these trying times, there's a couple ways. Number one, my packed travel bag that I designed with pack, there's still a few days left to get those Indiegogo prices on that thing. I'll link to that below. Number two, Patreon and YouTube membership. For instance, I just put up a longer video, an interview with my friend Donald Miller about some coronavirus stuff around creativity, around speaking with your own voice, getting past the, the shame in your life as a creative and just and being able to, to get that negative voice out of your head a little bit or just push through it. That's really good. I'm going to put up the interview that I did with the Bellroy founder, Andy, and uh, one of their designers, James, which we were talking about this bag. I'll put that up for members, uh, for Patreon and members. Right now, most people are on Patreon. I think I have like 11 <laughs> YouTube members. I have that option in YouTube membership just because it's like, I don't know, maybe that's a lot easier for some people, but most people are using Patreon and I like having the conversation there. I'll probably do like a members only podcast there at some point. It's a great way to support the channel. I don't know what my prices are over there now. What I wanna do is I wanna have like, you know, a dollar a week kind of, or a dollar a month even just gets you all the, all the shit and then, you know, Donate a little more every month if you can. That's how you can support this channel. But, uh, yeah, you know, I'm living at home right now, man. And this is, my parents' place is really nice. I hated this place growing up because I, there's nobody else lived around me, you know? I didn't have any, I couldn't go ride my bike to my buddies' houses. Um, I didn't, I didn't have any buddies nearby. I didn't have buddies. And we're planning on, we'll camp out here for a little while. I don't know what the deal is. We just, it was time to get out of San Diego, which was so sad to leave all my friends. Hi, friends. All right, y'all, that's it. Great little apocalypse bag. Check it out. Shout out to Bellroy for designing something awesome. Obviously out of the reach for a lot of people out there. I know some people think that that much, that much for a bag is crazy. I've seen comments. People are like, $120 for a bag? You must be out of your mind. And I'm a little bit like, dude, don't spend less than $120 on a bag. Otherwise, you're just buying something that's just like, I can't wait for this to break. All right, turkeys. That's it. I hope you're well surviving. Remember, be compassionate to the people that you're living with right now, to the people that you're maybe wishing you were living with, but you're not. Be compassionate to people right now. Just take a little extra step to just have a little bit of kindness because everybody's actually stressed, man. Anxiety, right? Nervousness. It's a kind of it's a kind of trauma what we're going through. And trauma is is an extremely growing thing. I mean, it's a horrible thing. Uh, but it also it it gets you it, it's a it's kind of a wake up call, right? So, we got to put the pieces of the society back together ourselves, I guess. And maybe we can do it with badass bags. I don't know. Support independent makers, support manufacturers that you really care about. Your dollar is your vote now more than ever. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.